Hey guys, this is Andre, Horizon City News. Um, I just wanted to put out this this uh, video that uh, apparently wasn't put on YouTube by K Fox Fourteen. There's uh, something going down in Las Cruces where they just lost their chief of police. He was getting real uh, <laughs> hands-on with his prisoners, or at least one of them. You'll see in the video shortly. And um, so the city government over there, they fired him. The incident happened on March 17th. And I guess within the last 24 hours is when KFOX 14 found out about this uh, incident. Uh, I'm assuming through the New Mexico open records laws. And so for whatever reason, they don't have it on YouTube. So I'm going to put it here on my channel and um, hopefully they'll work with me. And, um, you know, I'm not trying to say that I made this video or had anything to do with it or take any credit for it or make any money off it or anything like that necessarily. I'm just trying to get some news out there. So uh, it'll be up as long as it can be up and I'll give them all the credit. And uh, it's a bad story, but great news work. And uh, yeah, so the Sunland Park, New Mexico Police Department is going to be uh, apparently looking for a new police chief. I'm assuming the assistant chief is taking the reins for now. Um, if anybody from Sunland Park, New Mexico, or anybody else in the El Paso metro area knows anything about this story, you know, maybe they know the prisoner or they know other stories about the chief that was recently fired, or they know other stories about the Sunland, New Mexico Police Department they want to tell. Um, as usual, you can always text me anytime um, or email me. All my contact information is in the, the uh, description box below. And um, yeah, I'm sure that there's, because you know, once you start pulling the thread at a, a piece of clothing or any type of linen that has a loose thread. Usually the thread keeps going and going. There's more and more. The onion keeps peeling. I'm sure that there's more to this story than just this one incident is what I'm saying. So um, anyway, here's the video. And you guys can decide for yourself what you see in the video. Uh, remember, even if you don't live in New Mexico, even if you don't live in Sunland Park, all these police departments, they all receive federal funding. So you might think, oh, well, that's that town. That's their problem. You know, I don't live there. Well, in a way you do if you pay taxes in any way because, you know, federal taxes, because all of these police departments, especially here on the border, they all get federal grant funding, some more than others, but all of them get something. Trust me. And that's another topic of discussion we can have uh, later in the future on other videos. But for right now, um, take a look at this video. And you could take a look at uh, what the uh, former Las Cruces, or I'm sorry, not Las Cruces, Sunland Park, New Mexico police chief. I don't want to throw Las Cruces under the bus for no reason. What the Sunland Park, New Mexico police chief uh, did to get himself fired. Um, he was basically, you know, putting his hands on a prisoner that was handcuffed in an inappropriate way. Um You'll see in the video. I don't need to explain. You'll see for yourself. Here we go. This just into the KFOX 14 newsroom. KFOX 14 has now gotten a hold of video that shows the very incident that got Sunland Park Police Chief Javier Guerra fired. KFOX 14 News at 5's Liana Golden is getting reaction tonight from the community. She's live in Sunland Park with what she's learned. Liana. We just received this video within the past 45 minutes, actually. And keep in mind, Guerra is accused of battery against a person in custody. And this footage reveals just that. Let's take a look at the footage. You can see the very moment Guerra gets up close to this person in custody. Guerra appears to be holding him down with his hand. And it looks like his hand is wrapped around the suspect's neck. You can see Guerra lift the man up by his neck at one point as he is lifted off the bench he's sitting on. Guerra then turns around and walks away. The two appear to be talking or yelling at one another as he walks away. Now, I did catch up with people who live here in Sutherland Park this afternoon before the video was released, and without even seeing the footage, some say they feel less safe knowing their chief of police was capable of something like this. They're supposed to be there helping the community. Well, 
I don't think no one's gonna feel safe after this. I think that is actually really shocking because like, I mean, I'm from here and you're supposed to feel like protected and stuff. And the fact that that's occurring is just like really mind blowing. I think it's, it's fair. Uh, you know, you did something wrong. You gotta get, suffer the consequences. So uh, if, if he is um, on that video that supposed to come out um, showing that he is involved, that's basically, you know, that's, that's his fault. That's on him. City of Southern Park confirmed to us last night that Guerra had been fired on Wednesday. The news came as KFOX 14 was the first to uncover that Guerra had been placed on administrative leave before his termination. The city says the decision was made after careful review of that incident that was all caught on this footage March 17th. Now we'll have much more of a reaction to the footage you just saw coming up tonight on KFOX 14 News at 9. But for now, I'm reporting live from Southern Park, New Mexico. Leona Golden, KFOX 14 News at 5. D-R-E? Uh, R-E-I. A-N-D-R-E-I. Yes, sir. R-E-I, alright. And your phone number, sir? 915. 915-781-4330. 4330. Yeah. Okay. You want to leave your last name or not? I'll just give you my information. 